All right, everybody, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame recently released this year's list of inductees to be voted into the hall from Eminem to Dolly Parton and Lionel Richie. And while the ceremony is set for this fall, we don't know what city will host it. At the center of this debate is our very own Mike Polk, who joins us tonight. Hi, Mike. Hey, guys. Uh, you know, I love having personally this Rock and Roll Hall of Fame right here in town. And it's, it's the best part about one of the, my favorite parts of Cleveland. Not only does it offer cool bragging rights over some other cities that shall not be named, it also brings a lot of revenue to Northeast Ohio, especially when we get to play host to the induction ceremony. But unfortunately, that doesn't always happen. The Rock Hall announced their 2022 nominees last week. And as usual, there's something for all of our dads to be mad about. This year's slate represents a wide cross section of different genres, styles, and time periods. We've got a little bit of country, a decent dose of hip hop, a dash of new wave, some soft pop for the moms, and the traditional formative heavy metal band that should have gotten in 20 years ago, Representation. But I'm not in the mood to argue today about who deserves to be inducted into the Rock Hall this year. I'm more concerned about where they will be inducted. Now, of course, if you had no familiarity with the history of the hall, you would probably say to yourself, well, they'll obviously be having the ceremony in Cleveland, right? You'd think so, wouldn't you? But sadly, that is not the case. Since the hall's inception, the ceremony has been rotating locations between New York, Cleveland, and Los Angeles, with the majority of the events being held in New York City, which, if you're keeping track, is not where the Rock Hall is. However, in 2016, the Hall announced that Cleveland would start alternating with New York to host the induction every other year, beginning in 2018, removing LA from the equation, which would have been great. But the Rock Hall has since backed off that promise, and it sure as heck looks like the ceremony is headed back to Los Angeles this year. And that stinks for a variety of reasons, not the least of which is the financial impact of not hosting it more frequently. But my primary gripe about this is based more on principle. It's about the lack of respect that this shows to the city that calls the Rock Hall home. There are still people who feel as though the Rock Hall shouldn't even be here. It was an epic struggle to get the hall built here, and it took a lot of concessions at the start, including the pretty humiliating allowance that the induction ceremony would not be at the actual Rock Hall consistently. Of course, most of the people making these decisions aren't from here, and neither are the artists who are being inducted, and they didn't want to be forced to hold their star-studded red carpet events in our rusty little shanty town. But that was a long time ago, and since then, Cleveland has proven itself to be a more than capable steward of this temple to rock history, and perfectly capable of putting on a hell of a party when given the opportunity. Hey, maybe Cleveland should declare that next year we want to host the Met Gala here in town. What's that, New York? You say that doesn't make any sense because that museum is in your city? I couldn't agree more. Bottom line, it's time for Cleveland to show some self-respect and insist that the induction ceremony be held here every year, including this one, so that I can watch Rage Against the Machine hypocritically get inducted into the Rock Hall by the machine. And look out, Cleveland, because if my boy Lionel Richie gets the nod and gets inducted here, you know how long we're going to be partying. This is Mike for 3 News saying long live rock and roll in the rock and roll city. It's not that hard. What if, for example, next year the NFL decided to hold the Hall of Fame game in Indianapolis rather than Canton? How do you think that would go over? What if they decided to hold the Baseball Hall of Fame ceremony somewhere else this year because they decided that Cooperstown just doesn't have enough of a nightlife and a dance club scene to entice the big names into showing up? I rest my case, Mr. Donovan. <laughs> Perfectly done. He nailed it. I'll tell you, those sports comparisons really buttoned it up, Mike. Thanks, Jimmy. All right.